And so many of us don't think, well, I might need that someday. I, I might really want to know this. We don't think ahead. We don't plan ahead. And so we don't spend every Tuesday and Thursday evening taking time to assess how we're doing, taking time to write a pop quiz for ourselves and take that quiz and see how we're doing and adjust our methods. We don't distribute our own learning and by doing so, we're devaluing our own education. And when we do this in life, we're devaluing and we're setting ourselves up for potential failure and disaster. You need to realize that things in life do not come through procrastination. They come by building something. A house is built on a good foundation, right? And, and you have to work on things to get better at them. And you can't do it all at the very end and expect a good quality project. You have to put in time day by day by day to teach ourselves that we value these things, that we care about them. And to, to put forth the effort is showing ourselves that I do value this. And what is it saying to yourself if you really, you think you value it, but you don't put in the effort? Well, that means something. If, if, if you're with your wife and you're saying, I'm, I'm really, I really want to love you better, what does she want to hear? Show me. They say actions speak louder than words. So when it comes to education, I want you to take time after every assignment. Do the assignment as soon as you get it. Uh, do a draft of the paper. Work on that draft. Take a little bit of time each day. Invest in the product. Invest in the process. Get better and reflect on that process as you're doing so. It doesn't take that much extra time. And trust me that the benefits are worth it. You can do this. So spend extra time learning each day, distributing your learning, distributing your effort over time so that you don't feel so stressed because you procrastinated until the last weekend and now you're staying up all night and you've put yourself in a horrible situation where you're barely awake and you've got this test and you're going in yawning trying to remember everything and sometimes a lot of us have experienced this I've crammed before a lot of us ex have experienced I don't remember hardly anything I want you in your education and in your life to be forward thinkers, to be people that realize the instrumentality and utility of what you're doing right now to set yourself up for the future. Are you saving money? Are you behaving in a way that your future mate would appreciate? The type of future mate that you actually want. Are you giving the attention to your studies that you would be proud of? That you would tell your kid, here's what I did. So much of what we do is a haphazard way of living, a passive way of living. I want you to be conscientious and deliberate. Take life and show yourself that you are in control and that you want to live life to its fullest. That life is not going to drop golden nuggets on your doorstep and it's not, it's not easy. We have to put forth the effort, which means thinking ahead, planning, and then we can have optimal results and an optimal life. I hope you all do come to believe in the idea that, that I'm creating for you. To live a 10K life is not just 
some word that I'm trying to fit in, but it is a way of living uh, that I truly believe will help you achieve fulfillment in life, achieve maximal productivity, and get you where you truly want to be in life.